um, criminal justice. This is extremely important. Anyone who has ever been imprisoned or who is imprisoned now is really being punished wrongly. I mean, um, if you, let's say, if somebody forced you to do something, and I mean absolutely forced you, you had no choice in the matter, and then you know, you had to do it, then is it right? Is it morally right? Is it just for you to be punished for this thing that you absolutely had no choice but to do? Our jails and prisons are filled with people who are suffering that fate. And again, it's not our fault because we don't have free will to, to have, like, you know, to have overcome the illusion of free will and, and, and treated them more um, compassionately in the past. But, but it's something we have to recognize, okay? Now, some people immediately will say, well, you know, are you, are you suggesting we give up laws and, um, and our rule of, of, of order and all? And, and no, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that, like, you know, how would you like to be in a position where you're in, in jail or prison being punished for something you absolutely had to do or completely compelled to do? You know, that's just like... It's a reality we're going to have to face. And um, so what's the answer? Okay, naturally part of it is that civilization, humanity, society has to be protected from ourselves and each other. You know, if somebody's going around just like doing things that are hurtful to, to themselves or other people, certainly we um, need to take steps to um, counteract that, to prevent that. You know, the greatest good for the greatest number. That's what we cherish. That's what we value. So... So we'll continue to do that, but like when somebody does something wrong, well, this goes, let me preface this. Um, by understanding that we don't have a cause of free will and a cause of will, we can catch those people who would turn to crime in their later years as adults when they're very young and condition them to not go that route. 